Okay, fellas, I just wanted to uh, show you guys just how easy it is to set up this uh, this i6. All the programming can be done right at the radio. I was even able to reverse servos without even having to turn off the tank. I just slipped, uh, flipped over to the other screen, uh, reversed the servos that needed reversing, uh, gave a long press to cancel to save everything, and I was good to go. I, I was off and running again. So anyway, the first thing is that um, I do not yet have self-centering on this stick. But by leaving it in the middle, we can kind of um, uh, like simulate that it has the self-centering. I still haven't opened the radio up to see what's inside there. I do not think the same lever from the 9X is going to work in this Turn and G radio. But if you saw the video I did on the HK6S, you saw that all I did was pull the self-centering lever out of the other side and then just duplicate it in styrene. It's not really that big a deal. I don't think there's a self-centering lever out there that I can't duplicate in just a little while you know a couple hours at the most so anyway one of the things about this radio is that if all your switches are not in the proper places when you start it up you will get a warning and with the stick being self-centered that's going to happen every time because when it, you start the radio they want you to have the throttle all the way down obviously with self-centering that's not going to happen but it's such an easy fix all you do is turn it on the alarm comes up you just click down with the stick one time you just go all the way down and it'll shut off like so I'll show you okay the radio comes up now I don't know how well this is going to show up on on the Kodak but you can see place all switches in place all you have to do come down and there you go now we're ready to go now this thing is really really easy to use it's got four buttons on it that you have to be concerned about you got up and down okay and cancel now you can see that right now it's uh um just displaying the regular screen like it would when I'm driving and the screen does go to dim uh, fairly quickly to keep things running I think one of the reasons for that is because this radio runs on just four AA batteries that's all there is uh, in there it's it's light it's thin it's easy to hold I, I really like it um, if I can get that self-centering thing straightened out I will probably put my new Yog Tiger on this radio so anyway all you do to set it up is you just Press OK until you get this menu. Now, by going up and down, you can go back and forth between function setup and system setup. Let's start with functions. You go to there, you just click OK. Now, there's my functions. It's got reverse, is servo reverse, endpoints, display, um, auxiliary channels, sub trim. By going, by hitting OK, oops, it'll take you into that uh, channel that you that you have selected. Okay. One short press on the cancel button is like a last screen button. It just takes you back to the last screen you're on. If you press and hold until it beeps, it'll save any changes that you made. So there I am back at that screen. Now by moving down, I can go to any of the areas that I need. Okay, so let's say I want to reverse servos. Keep trying to move this around, hoping that you'll be able to see the um, the display. It shows up really good for me. It just I'm not so sure how it's going to do on camera so anyway you go to reverse hit OK now there's all your servo channels okay so by simply clicking OK again it takes you to each channel now on this radio I had to reverse servos 3 and 4 so just by pushing up it'll go back to normal push down it'll go back to reverse a quick cancel takes you back to the uh, screen before because I didn't make any changes that had to be saved if I had I would simply press cancel and hold it until it beeps so there you have um, all those functions and then on the next screen you got throttle curve mix elevon vtail switches uh, switches assignment throttle hold and that's it let's take a look at at least one other okay like here's your endpoints and I'll show you display too when you push OK there's all your endpoints all you basically have to do is scroll to the channel that you want to set your endpoints to use up and down to change the uh, settings and then press cancel and hold it till it beeps and it'll save everything okay cancel takes me back a screen down takes me to the display now I like the display because it shows what's going on with the radio as it's going on okay I'm hoping this is showing up so for me what that did was it let me instantly identify that there you have a pot you have a pot on channel 5, whoops, and a pot on channel 6, okay, and you can 
change that to assign any of these switches that you want to. This uh, actually comes with a decent manual, and um, I, I've read it, and I'll be reading it again to get some more uh, info from it. But it's such an easy, easy radio to set up. So let's go over to the system setup, and there you have model select, uh, as in like, you know, model one, model two. You can name your models. I've got the one on here named as uh, P3 because it runs the Panzer III. Your type select is for aircraft or helicopter or, uh, what is it, V-tail. But anyway, the tanks, they run on the aircraft setting. Then you've got model copy. If you have one model already set up, I think this holds 16 models. If you have one model already set up, you get a new tank, you want to set it up exactly the same, you can copy all those settings to the next model. Um, you also have model reset, RX setup. Trainer mode, student mode, sticks mode, LCD brightness, firmware, firmware update, and factory reset. The factory reset I tried once before I started playing with it. All that does is just take everything back to the factory default settings in case for some reason you want to just uh, just start over again. So anyway, that's how easy it is to use this radio. It's just it's ridiculously simple. If I can do it, just about anybody can do it. And that's the Turnigy i6. I think it's a great radio. I think that if a company like IMAX were to investigate getting a, a hobby-grade board and match it with a transmitter like this, I think it would be a winning con uh, uh, combination. It's just a, uh, a nice little radio. Okay? So I hope that was informative and, and might have helped you guys uh, figure out if you want to pick up one of these I6s. They're about 50 bucks, which is what I would consider kind of top of the line for low cost transmitters any more than that and you're and you're getting into the you know the higher end stuff but for me this works really great and if it works out good with the ibu2 if i can get the lever to self-center probably going to put my yog tiger on it so there he goes fellas hope that helped see you next time